Good evening and welcome to Real Talk with T. Holmes. Um, as we are coming to a close of this first season, I'm so excited. We are working on episode 31 today. Um, and when we wrap up, we will have a total of 35 episodes up under my belt. Woo, when I tell you learning as you go, like this has been a great experience. Um, not only for my viewers, but for myself as well. So I want to thank everyone who has tuned in Sunday after Sunday, everyone who has sent encouraging messaging to in, continue to inspire me that um, something is being said to help them along the way. So as we go into our motivational segment um, today, we will be working on a four week series, Forgiveness Brings About Healing. Um, I want to encourage everyone to allow your heart to be pure. When you allow your heart to be pure, that opens up room for improvement for you. It gives you a way to dictate your own life and not put your life in other people's hands. Um, so that you won't be disappointed. You know, a lot of times we are disappointed by people, but sometimes we disappoint ourselves. And in the midst of us disappointing ourselves, that comes about expecting so much from other people. Well, expect that same energy from yourself and yourself only. So as we go into this week, I want to embrace you with expecting from self and not others. Before we go into our segment, I would like to thank um, our sponsors that started with us at the beginning and then the sponsors that we have now. Forgiveness brings about healing. Today, we will talk about four major points on this four-week series. And um, I'm sure it's going to get very deep and a lot of people may feel a lot of different ways about a lot of things. And it's not a right or a wrong it's just sometimes we feel sorry for ourselves too often, too long. And in the midst of feeling sorry for ourselves, we then come back and realize that or we think that other people should be feeling sorry for us as well, too. But the reality of it is, is that you have to let things go. And in the midst of letting things go, you are bringing about a new inspiration to self. And we want to focus on self. We don't want to focus on the others. So the four points I want to talk about today is decide to forgive. What happens when you don't forgive? Forgiving others for yourself. And then also um, forgiving yourself. And then when you are forgiving yourself, we have to realize that not all the time you have to carry the weight, okay? But first, I want to start with decide to forgive. You know, a lot of times in life, we go through uh, so much. And a lot of times, we carry things in our adulthood from our childhood, okay? So that means that at some point in time, whatever may have happened in your childhood, um, when you become a preteen, sometimes it may trickle over. But then by the time we get an adult and we are now um, dealing with our own families, we still are dealing with things from our childhood, okay? We are bitter, and in the midst of us being bitter, that then brings along resentment. So in the midst of it bringing resentment along, we're still carrying it. We're still carrying it from something that happened to us or something that someone said to us at the age of 10 or 12 years old. Well, if you're 20, 21, 22, you're still in your prime. That means that, you know, you're now beginning to learn how to navigate through life without your parents nagging you or your parents being right there to show you. You having to learn things on your own. But when we're in our 30s, our 40s, and our 50s, and we are still talking about what happened to us at the age of 10, 12 years old, even 16 or 17, I'm sorry to inform you today that that means that we are stuck. We are stuck, and it's time to let this shit go. 
Okay. So in the midst of you letting the shit go, decide to forgive. That's the, that's the first thing you have to acknowledge that there is a problem. And a lot of times we can't, we don't decide to forgive because we don't acknowledge that we bitter or we are not acknowledging that there are some resentment. Okay. So in the midst of deciding, decide to forgive, we're going to let that shit go. Our next point is what happens when you don't forgive? When we don't forgive, that means that we are now giving others control of how we move, how we think, how we talk, how we act. Let you be at a function somewhere having a good time and somebody comes in and you feel like this is a person who have hurt you. Then everything about you change, your disposition change, your conversation change. No, take your power back. Take your power back because when you don't forgive, you give them control of you. You are responsible for your own energy. You take responsibility for your own power. But when you don't forgive, you don't have control of that. You don't have control of your power or your mindset or your movement. Okay, so we want to take that back. And that's what happens when you don't forgive is that you cannot take it back. Okay, then forgiving yourself. A lot of times it's not always about what other people have done to us. It's about what have you done or played a part of a situation to cause us to get hurt. Now, let me make clarification on when I say the part that you, including myself, have played. I'm not saying that we give a person a reason to um, hurt us. That's not what I'm saying. I'm not saying that you are the reason why. What I mean by that is, is that when you need to forgive yourself about something you may have said or done, that may have caused this person to react to you a certain way, then you now have to take accountability for your own actions as well. Yes, that person hurt us. They could have hit below the belt. And sometimes that happens because a lot of times we don't think before we speak, okay? And in the midst of not thinking before we speak, then now we're walking around holding this grudge, but really... Did you think or evaluate yourself on the part that I played? Okay. So we're going to take the concept that you did. Okay. Well, Tammy, you know, you know, you really did not have to say X, Y, and Z. Although he or she said X, Y, and Z to you. But the fact that you hit them below the belt and they may have had a grudge against you for five, 10 years, 20 years, maybe. Okay. But you may have asked forgiveness over and over and over again, and they may still be feeling some type of way. It's time for you to forgive yourself because when we don't forgive ourselves, then we allow that person to have control over us as well too. The first thing you always should do is ask God to forgive you. You ask God to forgive you. Now you should go to that person and ask them to forgive you, but everybody doesn't have that humility in them. I'm not talking about humbleness. I'm talking about the humility in them that, okay, I'm sorry that I said X, Y, and Z to you and don't even bring up the fact, although you said X, Y, and Z to me, okay? Because the humility part is going to bring about, it doesn't matter who said what first, why you said it. Look, I'm going to be the bigger person. I'm sorry, okay? So when you forgive yourself for what you've done or the part that you play, then you can now move forward. We're moving forward. We've decided to forgive. We know what happens when you don't forgive. And then the th- last thing I want to point out is, <coughs> excuse me, is you forgive others for yourself, not for them. Yeah, I know that was something you need to ponder on. You forgive others for yourself. You don't forgive them for them. You forgiving them for yourself because everything starts with a mindset. You mad, you bitter, you angry. It's not where you can heal. 
you can't even begin to even think about healing when you are at a point that you are thinking it's no way that I will ever, ever, ever forgive them. Now, I'm not one to dictate to say when you should forgive, how long it should take you to forgive. But I am here to tell you that we all should forgive everybody that has hurt us. Everybody. Because the reality of it is, is that God forgive us every single day. We do something that is not in his alignment. And who are we not to forgive when God forgive us? I know many of you may say, well, Tammy, you had an experience to hurt that I've hurt. You have not been robbed of your child or your husband or, you know, sister, brother, or someone may have killed a loved one. Um, and no, I have not experienced those things. And again, I'm not forcing you to forget about that, but I am enticing you to rely on God to open up your heart. Because again, we're talking about the heart in our mindset and when we talk about the heart in our mindset that means that now it brings about that resentment and that bitterness and then you walking through life just mad you can't even begin to receive what is for you in life okay so um as we talk about this we want i want to also talk about this understanding you know the unknown when it comes to forgiving others for yourself See, a lot of times we don't we don't know everyone else's story, okay? And in the midst of not knowing everyone else's story, we don't understand what they may have been through um, in their lifetime. No, that does not give a justification, but we do know that hurt people hurt people, okay? But this four-week series is about how we're going to forgive so that we can begin to heal, OK, so I want you to ponder on these four things this week. Decide to forgive. What happens when you don't forgive? Forgiving yourself and then forgive others. Forgive, forgive others for yourself. OK, forgiving yourself for whatever part you played in it and then forgive others for yourself. I want you to ponder on those four things this week. And then the next week when we go into our next week series, we will talk about another four points that back these four points up. And then in the next two weeks at the end, we will then come back and back up the healing part of the forgiving. But first, we got to forgive. OK, we got to realize that forgiving is a part of everyday life. It's no way that we can go on through life and not forgive. So I want to encourage you and embrace you. Take your power back. Don't give con others control of how you think, how you walk, how you move, you know, your dictation. When you are in a room full of people, you don't give no one the audacity to steal your world like that. OK, now let me make a justification. I mean, let me make a clarification before I close out. Forgiving others does not, does not mean that you have to now deal with them the way that you did in the beginning. You can still stay in your own space. You can still be cordial with them when you see them, but now you just know how to treat them and you treat them accordingly. But now you are free once you have forgiven them, okay? That means that before when you didn't forgive them, you didn't wanna be nowhere in their space. But look, I done moved past that. I'm in a different lane. I'm on a different highway. And in the midst of being on a different highway, that brings about different boulevards and different parkways and different avenues. OK, so now unless you want to just stay on uh, the court <laughs> or the cuddle set and you be stuck right there in, this, in that cuddle set, the only way you can get to the highway, you got to first forgive. So as I close out this segment, again, I want to embrace you. Um, forgiveness brings about healing. You cannot heal if you do not forgive. And um, as I close out too, I have a major point that I'm going to um, tackle with on next week. You know, a lot of people say, I can forgive you, but I never forget. Everybody have their own opinions about it. And guess what? A, a many of you may not be in 
on my side when I give you my point of view about that. But it's okay. It's because the reality of it is, is it's no right or it's no wrong. I'm entitled to feel how I want to feel and you entitled to feel how you want to feel. But we will focus on that part on next week. As we close out this evening, I would like to just encourage you to give forgiveness some thought. Give it some thought. Pray about it. Seek God for your answer first. And um, we'll see you next week. There you have it, directly from Real Talk with T. Holmes.